After all that violence, our community is reacting, saying enough is enough. Today, people gathered at Balboa Park for a vigil and a rally against white supremacy and gun violence. CBS 8's Richard Allen attended today's demonstrations and spoke to protesters who say the violence must stop. Well, that's right. Dozens of demonstrators gathered here in Balboa Park in response to this weekend's violent weekend of mass shootings. Their message, enough is enough. Today is a day of reckoning. Today I say no more. San Diegans of all ages, races and backgrounds came together tonight. It's just horrific. Just horrific. Raising their voices. We are one people, one human race, and we should stand together against this violence. And their signs. We need peace. Speaking out against the mass shooting in Buffalo, in which 10 people were killed and three injured. 11 of those 13 victims were African American. And authorities are investigating this as a racially motivated hate crime, allegedly carried out by an 18 year old white man. We have to stand up for black lives. Because until black lives matter, no life can matter. It's like, where does this hate come from? Anita Wasinick Turner and Darwin Fishman are with the Racial Justice Coalition. This is a black man living here in San Diego. I certainly felt it in terms of neo Nazi presence here, and certainly it felt like I'm in danger. This is 2022 to see 10 people shot in the, in the supermarket, the black people. It's like he was hunting them. And it's, he's 18 years old. How do you get that much hate? in your soul. Calling on elected officials to pass stricter gun control laws on a nationwide level. We will hold you accountable. We can no longer allow people to show up in our name, get elected in our name, and never come through for us. Organizer Wendy Wheatcroft says she believes this and the numbers of other demonstrations being held throughout the country will make a difference. But there's more of us than there are of them. That is what they're threatened by, the white supremacists. And our country is diverse, and that's what makes it beautiful. And when we join together, we, nothing can stop us. And President Biden is expected to visit Buffalo, New York tomorrow to grieve with the families of the victims of that violent shooting.